Hello everybody, this is Zoom, and this is Zoom Talks, and you guys, today we'll be talking about floods, fires, and earthquakes, and how time is running out for this world, and you guys, we're going to start off with uh, Routers, Routers article, and it says, Tropical Storm Hillary, oh, by the way, I'll link all these articles in the description, uh, Tropical Storm Hillary unleashes flash floods in California. I'll read a little bit of this. Tropical Storm Hillary unleashed furious flash floods east and west of Los Angeles on Sunday as the system made its historic arrival in California after barreling through Mexico, Mexico's Baja California Peninsula with deadly force. And it said one person died in Mexico. Admin reports of the flash flooding in the peninsula. Even some roads were swept away. So that is um, unfortunate that somebody died. And yeah, these these hurricanes and floods are unusual in California because California is usually a hot, hot place or warm place. And uh, they don't, well, yeah, California doesn't get too many hurricanes, you know. And uh I'll go on to the next article. It's Fox News. It says, Southern California residents feel 5.1 earthquake as tropical, tropical storm Hillary descends on the region. And a 5.1 earthquake shook Southern California on Sunday afternoon as much of the region began to feel the effects of tropical storm Hillary. So you guys, these earthquakes is very and like like these earthquakes are picking up. It's like almost every day these earthquakes are happening. And Luke, I'm gonna switch over and take a break from this article and switch over to follow me to Luke twenty one and eleven. Luke twenty one and eleven. It says, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. So when I hear fearful sights, I think of tornadoes, hurricanes, floods. That's what I think. And uh, I, I believe... Jesus is talking about the last days. The last days. And I'm going to read two more articles. Then I'm going to go over to the book of Matthew. So I'm going to go over to USA Today. Give me a second. Put this in real quick. And it says the next Maui could be anywhere. Hawaii tragedy points to. U.S. wildfire vulnerability. The deadly wildfires in Maui reveal a vulnerability in the United States that is increasing as quickly as threats from climate change. So, they love to, to use that word climate change on just about anything. And this isn't climate change. This is either two things. The, the, uh, uh, the some people say it, the the government has his hand in these wildfires, or it could be God's hand. But either way, we don't know. Only God knows, you know. And these disasters or wildfires are unfortunate because I believe I heard that right after these wildfires happened, like their land, the Hawaiians' land was for sale. That's very suspect to me and very unusual for somebody's land to be for sale or, or for sale right after a wildfire happens. Come on now. Come on now. And I'm going to read uh, routers, routers again, but it's for Canada. It says Canada to deploy military in British Columbia to tackle fast spreading fires. 
British Columbia declares state of emergency after wildfires. Flames have led to evacuation orders for more than 35,000 people. 35,000 people have evacuation orders. That's a lot of people, you guys. Um, so, Canada is... Canada, I didn't even know Canada even had wildfire. I saw some, uh, I saw some clips of it on social media. And these wildfires happen everywhere. I, I think even Montana had a wildfire. And these are unusual wildfires. But natural disasters are signs that we are in the last days. Or as Watchman will say, the like I think she said, like the final seconds, you know. Um, for um, Matthew twenty four and thirty eight, it says, "Yeah." So switch over to Matthew twenty four and thirty eight, and this is Jesus' words: "For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking." Marrying and giving a marriage until the day that no into the into the art and yeah I'm re I'm reread that because that's very important. For as in the days that were before the flood, that's when God destroyed the earth, or they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving a marriage until that until the day that no into the art. So basically. People were doing whatever they wanted. And God was about right before God 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 excuse me, my words not coming out. God was going to destroy the earth. Or where is that coming out right? And Noah, he said that I am going to be out of here. There is no way I'm gonna get caught up in that flood. And you guys. We are seeing signs like earthquakes, floods, hurricanes, fires, just like the days of Noah, just like it. And these are signs, you guys. These are signs. The book of Genesis, Matthew and Luke tells us the signs, you guys. We have to be aware of these signs. And we have to continue to have faith, continue praying, continue uh Meditating on the word of God, because if we, because if we don't, we are gonna get caught slipping, and who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Only God knows what's gonna happen tomorrow, because the rapture could happen tomorrow, you know, or you you may not wake up tomorrow. Who knows? We don't know. No, nobody knows. There can be a a. Uh, a, like a, a black swan event, something like the pandemic happens again. Nobody knows. And actually, I've seen an interesting video about the pandemic, about the, how they're going to uh, bring back masks and stuff, lockdowns. That's a whole different story. I might do a video on that. I might not. But you guys keep reading your Bible because once once you start reading your Bible, you sort of drift away from the Lord. And you don't want to dri drift away from the Lord. You want to be friends with the Lord. And I, f I read an interesting scripture, you guys. Um, one day, uh, uh, have you guys ever had like a rough day, right? And you were looking for a scripture, a scripture, uh, you were looking for a scripture that can make you feel better. Read John 15 and 15. Come to go to go to John fifteen fifteen, and this is red text. These words: Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made unto you. Jesus calls us friends. We're still servants. We still, we still serve the Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. But he called us friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. My, my throat's going out. But yeah. Jesus called us friends. 
That is very interesting to me. And that is very important. Because he, he doesn't just see, see us as servants. But it's almost like, we got to think about you guys. When you pray, you are having, you have a, a relationship with him, Jesus. You have a relationship. It's, a, it's, it's like dialogue. You speak. He speaks. You listen. You listen. He listens. And Jesus, like I always say, he's like a 24-7 like customer service, he's always, always going to be there for you, always. So when you have rough days, you pray. You pray, you talk to him. And the way I like to pray is I like to have my Bible open while I'm praying. I don't. You don't have to have your Bible open, but it just makes me feel comfortable with my Bible open while I'm praying, you know. And the Holy Spirit is all... Is also there for you because when Jesus left, <clears throat> let uh, uh, when Jesus, uh, I believe I could be wrong, when Jesus left uh, out the flesh <clears throat> and went to his kingdom, he left his believers the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit is always there for you as well. God the Father is all, all he said, He's always there for you as well. You know, you just gotta, because Jesus isn't, Jesus wants to talk with us, but if you guys aren't like open up to him, how is he going to talk, talk to you, you know, you have to want to want to talk to him because you have a lot of unbelievers that reject Jesus. You know, they reject Jesus and they don't want, they want nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus is like, okay, fine. Because remember, remember God has gave us free will. We have the bit we have like freedom to do what we want. God didn't make us robots, you know. But if if you if unbelievers don't want to nothing to do with Jesus, Jesus is not gonna beg to talk to you. You know? That's why we born again Christians are blessed to have Jesus in our lives. Because we have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit actually let me, let me find that scripture right now. Give me a second. Let me see. There's important scripture. There is a very important scripture about the Holy Spirit. I am on a roll today. There's a very okay. John, we we're actually close. Flip with me to John sixteen and thirteen. It says John sixteen thirteen. This is Jesus' words. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. So I'm going to read that first little snippet right there. How be it when, sorry, so I repeat that. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, is come. He will guide you into all truth. All truth. So that means all, he will show you, the, show you all truth. So even if it's good or bad, all truth can be good or bad. Because truth could be, you know, bad truth or good truth. You know, you know, is, that's important. But I think I'll uh, leave it right here, you guys. And you guys, keep praying. Keep looking for the rapture. Keep your relationship with God close. And uh, stay blessed. That's all I want to tell you guys. God bless. Like, comment, subscribe.